the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be Girl Luck by Murphy and McNeil. And this is in Murphy and McNeil's Kodiak base, which contains bear tallow. Now, this is a very unique base. The scent is a cologne dupe. Um, I'm not, for anyone that knows me and have watched these videos for a decent length of time, they're not really my thing but the space is excellent. So whenever he releases something in the space, I do like to give it a try. It's a dupe of Lucky number six. Um, I've never smelled the cologne. However, I know people that enjoy that cologne. The scent on this for me is quite light, maybe a three or a four. A four or five maybe, but it's, it's definitely not strong. The way I would describe this, it's interesting. It's, it, to me, it smells like a spicy aquatic. I, I don't know if I'm wrong, but that's how it smells. Um, the Kodiak base comes in three ounces as opposed to four, mainly because bear tower is pretty difficult to get a hold of. So we're gonna be using that. Razor of choice can be my last shade with this for a while. This is the Charcoal Goods Level 2 with the uh, three inch hammered handle. Inside that I have a first use for a pair of Platinum Lux. Reason I've, it's gonna be my last use for a while is because I'm lending it to um, Andrew of Paradigm. Uh, he is lending me Paradigm's Artist Club style razor. I love those styles of blades, as you guys know. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that. The brush of choice is going to be the Declaration B6 inside this Jefferson Autumn Glory handle. Let's get a load on this and we'll get to uh, lathering up. It's interesting. It is like a spicy aquatic to me. Yeah, it's quite, it's pretty unique. I'm actually gonna dip the tips in this distilled water here. So I would say you'll notice more of a difference with the distilled water if you're face lathering. Um, my, my good friend DK is using it at the moment. I don't think he's noticed much difference with bowl lathering. I don't know if he would, honestly. Um, I think you, so the biggest difference I notice it's not so much the quality of lather, because I think that's good anyway, because most of these soaps are made to be able to deal with hard water. I think the biggest thing it deals with well is um, the ability to lather up quickly. Um, I think it creates a good lather faster. Okay, I think that's a good enough load. Lost a hair there. I pretty much lose one or two hairs every shave with this B6. It's something I've gotten used to, it doesn't really bother me. Let's put the um, water from my kind of mug soaking cup here back inside. <sighs> so we don't waste any of it. It's the way to keep this financially viable. I get that it costs a dollar like per gallon, but at the same time, like, I don't want to have to go to the supermarket every now and again to pick up water. I haven't used 200 milliliters yet, um, and I've done this four or five times, so it works if you can serve it. Okay, so wet the face, and I'll uh, get to lather it up. I have a tag video coming tomorrow. It would be shaving with the classics, tagged by DK Damfine Shave. So. That'd be good fun. This, I'll tell you something actually, the scent is nice. It is like a spicy aquatic. It smells a bit like Reflection Man, honestly. Um, I actually think it's a bit nicer scent than Reflection Man. It's like this spicy aspect to it, which is what's pulling me in. I like an aquatic, but just a scent that smells of ozone isn't really my thing. Rinse the soap out. I'll do a better job on that later. Let's uh, get to lathering up. Starting pretty dry. I have some lather on my nose already. What a start. <laughs> it's pretty dry at the moment, which is, you know, understandable. 
a splay. This is the, my favorite knot, I think. It has just a good amount of density in backbone. So the thing that's annoying me is, there we go, it's, it's created properly. So now it's like that. And all I do is I squirt some water in the middle. This Kodiak base really is good. Um, like I said in my Amare video last week, it works up very quickly and enough people don't really discuss that for me. Again, it's created. Some more water will add quite a bit this time. Biggest difference I've noticed with this distilled water, it makes a good lather faster. Look at that already. We ain't done yet. What time is it? We're six minutes in, so. I promise I'm gonna be shaving by 10 minutes in. That's my guarantee to you lot. I promise. You know me, man, I like to lather. I find lathering very relaxing. Quite the flow through being produced here. For me, the difference between the B5 and the B6 the B5 doesn't have the backbone this has. This has good backbone. I'd say slightly above average. But I think it makes a killer lather when splaying because of that. Because there's quite a lot of downward pressure required to get that thing to splay. Some people don't like that. I, I, I kind of do. We can add some more water to this. It's ridiculous already, but... If you haven't bought anything from Murphy Minnell, I suggest you give him a try. Not only is the owner of the company, Bill, a great dude, he, they have free shipping which you don't see very often. And they make brilliant products. This is this is like a limited edition base for them, but their generic offering called a uh, Ion or Aeon, I think it is. That base is also excellent. The scents are nice. a good company all around no feel like now it's getting out of hand <laughs> look at this <laughs> the density of that lather i can feel the resistance as i push it into my face no don't run away from me I think we're good. Where are we? Ah! <laughs> I said 10 minutes. Okay, we're done. We're done. Got a bit carried away there. Oh, 
Okay, charcoal goods, level two with the first use repair of platinum locks. That's a good, good razor. Slice blade too. Always using minimal pressure. This really is one of the best soap bases for me. This Kodiak. And I find it's not spoken about as much as the others. That could be the fact that it's a limited edition release. But it really, really is good. The residual slickness on my skin. The, the way I like to define it is like this fatty, fatty layer. And it does that really well. I mean, it's really difficult to grab. You see the sheen on my skin? That's, that's that layer I'm talking about. And I associate that layer with the very best soaps. There's a lot of soaps have like really good residual slickness, but there's for me there's a difference between residual slickness and like this ingrained sticky slickness. Things like this, Sierra, Sago, Milk Steak, like all of those have. Talbot has it. See if this we can add a bit more water to this. Just little drips. And yes, we can. Like I always said, and like I consistently say, the length I lather. isn't entirely necessary. Um, I just love it. I find it therapeutic. I find it fun. This is an excellent razor, by the way. has a really nice amount of blade fill. There's enough to tell you it's there, but it's not so much where it feels a little bit unsafe. Bit of a few cleanups and we're good to good to call it a day. Here, here, a little bit on the jawline.
very comfortable. Made much easier with having such a fantastic soap. Okay. All the lather in there. Let's get this on the face and I will be back for the post shave. I'll be right back. Hey guys. Post shave time. Before we get into it, Look at this new Lancaster towel, red, bought from his last drop. I fucking love this. Excuse my language. <laughs> it just comes out, I've told you that. My face feels remarkable. Okay, so for post, we're just gonna do something pretty simple today. Uh, nothing over the top. We're gonna be using Singari Man's Unscented. Get out of there. Excellent. Okay, let me do a recap of all of the things you've seen today and I will let you guys go. First and foremost, Girl Luck by Murphy McNeil. Big thumb up, that Kodiak base is just remarkable. Um, Charcoal Goods Level 2, probably not going to see this for a few weeks at least. This is going to go to Andrew from Paradigm, he wants to borrow it and I'm going to try his single edge razor. Brush, my favourite in the den, has been for some time now, is the Declaration B6 Jefferson with that 28mm B6 knot, it's just remarkable. Post was my Zingari Man Unscented and we had a nice cameo from the new Lancaster Razorworks red towel. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Uh, if you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Like the video, share with your friends, do all of that jazz. I'm getting getting there to a thousand subs and once I do, I can start bringing lives to you lot. So I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Grim Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.